Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install DS4 Windows. And I'll play a little bit in creative to show y'all. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see the change in input lag between the controller and that. But yeah, let's get into it. Also, before I start the download for DS Windows tutorial, uh, if you could use supported creative code day dash tape dash help in the item shop, it would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, other than that, let's get into it. So what you're gonna want to do is go to type in ds4windows.com, and it should just pull up the correct uh, link. Go to it, it should have all this right here. Download now. Uh, it should be the first one. I don't know if there's a higher version anywhere, but this is like what it's showing the highest version. Uh, ds4windows.zip open this it should show up these two I, I have winrar so it's going to be looking a little bit different for me but you should still be able to open the file right there and it should still show ds4 windows.exe and ds4 windows updater and if it doesn't click the the file folder which is inside of it and it should then you just open this uh it's going to pop up install over here on the like in the middle of your screen, it's going to say install DS4 Windows driver. And then right below it should say install 360 Windows driver. Do not click the 360 Windows driver unless you're Windows 7. But if you're Windows 10 or Windows 8, I would click DS4 Windows. By the way, you do need a Bluetooth driver for all this. But yeah, just click uh, the top one that says install DS4 Windows. And after that, uh, it should greet you with DS4 Windows, like the, the actual, like app that you use in your computer you just type it in here ds4 windows opens up um it should have this little like ps4 controller icon you're gonna get started up and you're gonna want to go to pro profiles go to new and then go to type in your profile name like whatever you're gonna type it into i'll just do a random number uh go to use four controls for this in order to use touchpad I know that whenever I first did this, I, I didn't think I was gonna have to use touchpad, but I do use it for the map. I don't like, I, don't, I didn't wanna remap any other buttons. So you just go down to left touch and put that, double click it, which it, like obviously you have to use this uh, program with your mouse, you can't use it with your controller. But double click it, uh, put it from left touch to back, right touch to back, multi-touch back, and upper touch to back that way the whole the whole thing like is working the whole like uh touchpad but after that i usually go to rumble at the top and turn this to zero i don't know why but sometimes it just makes my controller rumble randomly and i don't like rumble if you play with rumble you kind of weird like me but yeah that's that's pretty much it um you can just save profile you can go to settings also and you can run at startup start minimize um this latency thing is like you can like have your controller flash whenever um like whatever latency you want i like it at the lowest i think i think it is it is five at the lowest i don't think zero is the lowest let me see yeah, I don't think you can go past 5. I think it starts at 10. If you just go down to 5, use the, the new profile that you just used. You can come over here and use custom color. And basically, you can pick whatever color or you can just make your own color through this. And it will show up on your PS4 controller. But yeah, once you do this, do not close it. Just minimize it. You can make it the, the smallest like on your, on, your, on your Windows back screen and pretty much just open up fortnite and then play a game that's pretty much it you'll see the input lag i think the normal input lag for the ps4 controller on on pc is like 35 or something like that milliseconds and then this goes down to five milliseconds so basically it's going to be like way quicker this is this is like so good if you have like really bad ping. And wh like what I've what I've seen, like most players use this if you have really bad ping. Basically, it just it just helps you with like touching. As soon as like you press a button, it like as soon as you do it, it, it 
pulls out. It's, it's honestly like really good. Obviously, I don't, my muscle memory isn't like connected to this, so I'm not gonna be able to like show you how to do a whole bunch of stuff with it. But that's pretty much it. This is like, I don't know. It's it's way quicker to get ready for like betterness. <laughs> a better betterness out of your gameplay. If, if you have like three bad pain or if you just want to be even quicker, this is what I would do. But yeah, other than that, that's that's the end of the video. If you could like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff for me. Uh, remember, use my creator code, uh, they dash hate dash shelf in the item shop. Hashtag ad. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video. I would I would do like a whole bunch of retakes and stuff, but my muscle memory is not at all like with this. I'm on like uh, the regular freaking cord for PS4 for PS4 controller. I like the delay. I, I don't I, I don't know why I like the delay. I just it's it's more normal. I I've used that more often. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video. Um, do all that stuff for me. Like, share, subscribe, turn sub subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that good stuff. Can't speak right now. But yeah, peace out, ha have a good day.